y'all, it's Kay with Crafting Cousins Times 2. I hope you're subscribed to our channel, and if not, if you'll click the red subscribe below and then ring the bell when it comes up, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content based on the options you choose. Today is Wednesday. It is time for Hump Day Hauls, y'all. I just want to let you know that this will be the last Hump Day Hauls for a short amount of time while I'm staying home and staying in with my family, and I hope you're doing the same. So, see you guys in the shed. Well, I'm back at my counter. Let's see what I got in my haul this week. Everything I got this week is from Tuesday morning. That was the only store that I went in. The first thing I got was this paper pack. It is by My Mind's Eye, Holly Jolly. It's a Christmas paper, of course, $2.99. If you saw my hauls a few weeks ago, I had gotten a small 6x6 six six pad of this paper, and I said, if anybody finds it, let me know. I really would like to have the 12x12. 12 12. This is the 12x12. 12 12. It's double-sided. It's not terribly thick, but it is really cute. Let me take it out for you. That's just the label. It has this beautiful plaid. If you recall, the 6x6 six six pad had this same plaid, but it was much smaller. It was scaled down to go with that small size. And these are just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Can't wait. I probably won't start my Christmas projects until July. And I'll do a big push for Christmas in July. But won't this be beautiful? Oh. I can just see this in some of my notebooks. Like a big traveler's notebook to get you ready for the holidays. Just gorgeous. Pretty plaid. And it comes even with this pack of stickers. And that's quite a lot for $2.99. So I am really excited about that paper pad. All right, sorry about the noise. It makes them quite a bit of noise when you work with paper and all these plastic. I finally found another one of these Echo Park pages, the Just Be You collection. Love this collection so much. $5.99. I have shown this to you before, so I'll go through it really quickly. It has stickers, of course, that match the collection. If you saw me last week, I was doing um, some rosettes, and I was using scraps from the last time I had this paper pad. So, it is so cute. Pretty cut apart. But like I said, I've hauled this one before, but I had such good luck selling these, I wanted to make a few more traveler's notebooks. These seem to appeal, this collection I should say, to the teenage girls. But that's the collection. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then I got some more paper. I got this 6x6 six six paper pad. It is the Happy Birthday Collection from Echo Park. 24 sheets, and they are double-sided. They always do such a good job with this paper. Wouldn't this be pretty in some cards? Oh, my goodness. And again, it's, they have this in the 12x12. 12 12. I have never bought it in the 12x12. 12 12. I thought it would be cute to make a special small birthday album, a mini album, and that's why I got it. And then it'll start repeating here in a second, but it is double sided. Don't know if I said that. Wow, love the floral polka dots. That's going to be hard to decide which side to use. Oh, that plaid doesn't that scream Easter? Happy birthday. Cupcakes. But just a beautiful paper pad by Echo Park. And it was $2.99. 65 pound cardstock. 24 double sided sheets. 
the next six by six pad I got was the Magical Adventure one. Lots of red and yellow and black and white. That is just beautiful. It makes pretty autograph books that you could take when you visit this particular theme park. Isn't that gorgeous? $2.99, 24 double-sided pages. Here's another one, and this one's Jungle Safari. I have used the 12 by 12 Jungle Safari, but I had never seen the small one. So now I have the small one to match it. $2.99 again, 24 double-sided sheets. These I usually make into these adventure packs for little boys mostly, but I have little girls that buy them too. But I try to have something that appeals to the boys as well as the girls in my craft show. Beautiful jungle patterns, jeeps. Makes you want to go on a safari. Wow, these are so pretty. I wanted to give you a good view, and then it starts repeating. But that is so cute. Oh my goodness. And this one is called Down on the Farm. I had found some stickers at the Dollar Tree that were farm animals and barns and so forth. And I wanted to do a traveler's notebook, but I didn't have any paper that I liked. This is also Echo Park. At my particular Tuesday morning, I have not found the 12 by 12, but I did get this Down on the Farm 6 by 6 one. $2.99. Life is better on the farm. So you have some cute cut aparts. Paper is double sided. Got some animals, some plaids, some more cut aparts. Or you could just use the back. Seed packages. Oh my goodness, I love this. Makes me want to get out and start planting a garden. This is little tiny tractors. They are actually green when you look closely. And some roosters. Some trucks. Can't have a farm without having some pickup trucks for sure. Got some cows with the red and white and of course the black and white cows. Oh, that's so pretty. I am just loving this. And it repeats. But 24 sheets again, $2.99. Love that. Love it so much. I also got some die cuts to cut um, paper to use my Sizzix. This one's by Cuddlebug. I've never bought this brand before. It was $8.99, but its retail value is $19.99. It is actually by Cricut. This one particular collection is called Lost and Found, and it has birdhouses and locks, scissors, heart, keys, clock parts, a ticket here button, thimble. I'm not even sure what's behind there, but that is, oh, I just loved it so much. I had to have it. Just had to have it. So a lot of good items to use in paper crafting. I have a mini album I'm working on now that this will look beautiful with that. Oh my goodness. Love this so much. Had to have that. I got another metal die for cutting paper. It actually makes the triangular shape there and it was $7.99. That is a little much, I think, but it's retailed at $18.95. Here's the, what it looks like on the back. It's like a triangle, has all the filigree cutouts. I have a mini album that I want to make a pointed top to. Maybe later I can show you that on camera. So that's why I did buy it and I went ahead and invested in it. $7.99 at Tuesday morning. I have just a few more items. Sorry about the noise. This is a small paper pack for $3.99. It's Grandma Collection. It's by Echo Park, EP Mini Themes. I've never used this collection before. And I thought it would be cute for Mother's Day to make some things. Maybe like a cookbook or just a traveler's notebook of some sort. Came with stickers. Got some pretty paper, some cut-aparts. It's double-sided. 
Oh, I just love the florals. You know me, pink roses. I can guarantee you that's the side I will be using. This looks like a sweater that Grandma knitted. Pretty cute. Oh, on the back it has sewing machines and rocking chairs, watering cans. And this is actually like a silhouette of a grandma. Love, love, love that. Again, the same. Another page of cutouts, cut aparts, excuse me. And the stickers. That is cute. I'm going to enjoy making some traveler's notebooks out of that. I have just a few more things, guys. I got some washi tape. Had been $1.99. The yellow sticker usually means 20% off. It would take too long to go through my receipt because I think my receipt's about 18 to 24 inches long. But hard to tell. It's a light pink, maybe even on the coral family. But that's washi tape. This was also marked down. Got the yellow sticker. And it's an iron-on trim, but I don't plan on using it that way. I know you cannot tell what that is, but it's little black spiders. So I thought this would, of course, work when I make some traveler's notebooks in October. So it was $1.99, retail for $5.99. Looks like there's a lot of spiders in there. I got another cutting template. It's a couple of butterflies. You can do the cut around or you can do the whole butterfly cut out. $4.99. I love those. This is a mermaid. You can cut and emboss. Plus you have like a dolphin cut out and a seahorse. $4.99. Retail value $9.99. I got some Bow Bunny breads. These are so cute. They're actually Christmassy, but some of them could be used for Easter also because the colors are so compatible for Easter, which is why I got them. $2.99, retail value $5.99. Not a super deal, but still a good deal. Those are precious. Got this Sizzix uh, cut for my uh, Sizzix. Didn't say that right. For cutting and embossing. It has a travel trailer, campfire. It says Happy Camper. Love that. We happen to have a, a travel trailer that we use in the summertime. And also the fall. So I wanted that one. This is Bow Bunny. And it's layered chipboard stickers. Has Santa Claus and some cards. Some music notes. Joy. So cute. $1.99. Retail value $3.99. And some of these things I never see at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. This is some stickers. It was $2.99, but it was on sale because it has a yellow sticker. They're planner sticker. Well, not stickers, guys. I'm sorry. It's stamps, so you can stamp it into your planner. So I'm looking forward to using those. I just got into really doing planners this year. Because I've been mostly at home and then now have two or three businesses I'm running. So I have to keep up with things. This is a different one. Same thing. Um, I mean, by the same company. The Heidi Swap. But it has lots of different stamps. Those are cute. I got this from the Lost and Found Market Street. You have seen me haul the paper pads, the 12 by 12, many times because I love, love, love them so much, but I had never seen the um, cutouts like this. So I'm pretty excited about that. $1.99 will go great for the mini album I've got to get back to working on. My Mind's Eye. Love it so much. Oh, I don't, I'm sure you can't tell on camera, but they have the alphabet, some tickets, some pennants. Oh, so cute. I love that. And the final item that I got was this double-sided tape. It's a nice wide tape. Half inch. For paper crafting. $2.19. Retail value $5.99. This tape usually works pretty well. I've used it on many occasions and found it to be quite reliable. 
So that's my haul this week. I hope you find some goodies at your store. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for Trisha's Thursday Trash to Treasure. And then on Saturday, of course, we'll have Craft Chat again. And then the week starts all over. Guys, I hope you'll subscribe, share with your friends, and come back every week. Bye, guys.